If someone came to you and said, hey, check this out. I've got this 149-year-old chip. Been around since Nelson. Want to blow it up? I hope you'd beat them with a shovel. This is the story of a truly remarkable and tragic ship. The HMS Implacable literally served throughout the entire golden age of the Royal Navy, when that force dominated the world's oceans for a century and a half. Launched in France as a Duguay Tron in 1800, the 74-gun third-rate ship of the line served with the Napoleonic Navy, fighting at the Battle of Trafalgar in October 1805. This battle would cement British naval supremacy until the Second World War in 1939, and the Duguay Tron was lucky to escape, one of only four French ships to get away. However, she was to be captured two weeks later in a battle that mopped up the remnants of the French-Spanish fleet and was renamed HMS Implacable, the first Royal Navy ship to bear that name. In this guise, she served the Royal Navy throughout the Napoleonic Wars, including fighting a Russian warship to a standstill in 1808 and in the years after. In 1840, she took part in the bombardment of Acre to restore Ottoman rule to the city, before being docked in Devonport as unseaworthy in 1842. In 1844, she was taken out of commission, then in 1855, converted into a training ship for boys and served in this role for several decades. Technically, her name was given to a formidable class battleship in 1899, but she continued to be known as Implacable and serve as a training ship. She ironically sought out her namesake, which went to the scrapyard in 1921, but needed several refits to stay in the water. But she carried on, enjoying periodic public sponsorship throughout the 1930s, and then survived bombing raids by the Luftwaffe throughout the Second World War. That conflict saw another namesake enter service, the first of a class of aircraft carriers. But where battle couldn't kill the old ship, the politicians and, more particularly, their finances could. Completely broke after World War II, every possible expenditure of the British government needed to be cut. And Implacable needed £200,000 of restoration work. That's about £7 million in 2020 money. It might seem like a trifle by governmental standards, but it was more than the government of the day were willing to pay. In 1947, she was offered to the French as a possible museum ship, but they had even more money problems in the UK. So, on December 2nd, 1949, the HMS Implacable was towed out into deep water. A child was placed on board and she was scuttled. She was 149 years old at that point. Second in the Royal Navy, only to HMS Victory, Nelson's flagship. Whoever signed off on that decision needs to be hit with a shovel. Thanks for watching, hope you found the video interesting. Obviously this is a really potted history of a great ship. I'll put a link to the Wikipedia article that goes into more detail in the description if you want to learn more. If you did like this video, please share it. Uh, drop a like and or subscribe. It's a great way to support the channel. Have a good one, keep safe, and hopefully I'll see you again soon. Thank <laughs> you.